Okay, hello folks, my name is Govind and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel where I share content related to the field of data analytics, Power BI SQL and all. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, so please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out my upcoming videos. So in today's video, I'm going to solve one important DAX based interview question that has been asked for the role of Power BI developer. And this particular question is shared with me by one of my LinkedIn connections. So stay with me till the end of this video and you will have something new to learn. I bet that. Okay, so let's get back to the question. So question is that you see here I'm having one slicer which is month name. And this particular column is taking, I'm taking from the date table, right? so it is a month name column and i can filter out this particular visual so the question of the interviewer was that uh, how would you uh, make the by default selection in this particular slicer to current month so if i show you the today's date is 12 of july and july is my current month so whenever i open the report whenever i open the report it should show me the selection to the july which is a current month if i open the report suppose i opened the, this particular report in the month of august so that selection should automatically transferred to august so how would you uh, uh, make this particular thing right so uh, and one more thing uh, he also wants that instead of so suppose my current month is july so instead of july he wants to see this month this particular string in, in, in instead of july so how would you create that particular slicer this was the interviewer's question so for that you need to create one calculated column in the date table so this is my date table i would go here and i would create here new column right so let's name this month again and i would make use of variable here and i would find out that what is my today's date so there is one function in date which is today i can make use of that it doesn't accept any argument it just gives you the today's date so if i show you in return what does it return so you can see for each of the row it has written 12 of july which is current date so from this current date i would fetch the month month number so for that i would create another variable and i would say this as month number and i can make use of month function month is a simple function it accepts date as a argument and it gives you the current month number so from today's date i need to extract the month number so i would pass here the variable that i have created above which is today date once i do that and return the month number so you can clearly see that for each of the row it has given me seven which is july right now i can uh, compare this particular variable which is month number uh, with this column which is already present in my date table right so i would uh, compare instead of returning month number i would return i would make use of if condition and i would say if uh, the month number column if this is equal to my variable which is month number it means that the particular date the month number is equal to the today's month number so i can say that for those records for those rows give me this month right otherwise i can see i can say that give me the very month name column i will close the bracket for if once i do that so you can clearly see that where there is a match it has given me this month which is for july and for other month it has given me the very month so this is the code you have to write for creating a calculated column get back to the report view so instead of uh, using this month number month name column i can make use of another month column that i have just created 
right and i would do one more thing i would sort this month number column by uh, so sort this newly created column by month number so that my all the uh, month name gets in correct order and after that what i would do i would select you can see june and this is july and this is august so this is what interviewer has asked so what i would do i would select this particular this month and after selecting this i would save my report so what will happen whenever uh, the viewer or i can say whenever the developer will open this report it will always always show me this particular selection because at the time of saving power bi files also captures the slicer selection right so suppose uh, once like suppose that july month has been gone and we are now currently in august month so that formula will evaluate again and this month will get here in place of august and here uh, there will be reflected july and here we, we can see this month so this is how you can answer this particular question yes guys that's all about this particular video if you know any other solution to this particular question so do let me know into the comment section and subscribe to my channel like and share this video i will see you next video thank you so much